Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Amelie Andor New Balance 650R in the navy and white colorway. So the New Balance 650R is one of my most anticipated New Balance models of the year, mostly because it is one of the first retro New Balance high top basketball shoes. As you can probably tell, the 650R is basically just a high top version of the ever so popular 550. I'll be making a dedicated 550 versus 650R video later on in the next few weeks. So as usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe as well as an on feet look as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, design, and quality of the shoe. Starting with the box. The box is mostly in this aged yellow slash cream white color with New Balance and Amelie Andor branding in gray as well as this navy and gray stripe near the middle of the box and on the sides of the box you get an outline of the actual 650 in navy. Starting with the toe box of the shoe, the mudguard of the shoe is made out of white leather and the middle of the toe box is made out of more white leather with some small perforations both in the center and at the mudguard of the shoe. Near the top of the toe box you get a small panel of navy mesh. Moving on towards the sides of the shoes you get a big panel of perforated white leather and you get some 650 branding printed on in navy. In the very center of the shoe you get the New Balance N logo in a cracked navy leather and it's surrounded by some small subtle cream off-white leather. The lace eyelets of the shoes are also made out of that white leather. Moving on towards the back of the shoe at the top you get a big nylon panel that's in white as well as a big panel of navy leather with New Balance branding printed on in white and that navy panel wraps around the back of the shoe. You also get some small cutouts of that white nylon and you get more panels of white leather and at the very bottom you get a rubber navy heel clip. Moving towards the very back of the shoes you get the continuation of the white nylon, the continuation of the navy leather as well as more panels of white leather and on the right shoe you get the New Balance NB logo in navy and on the left shoe you get the Amelie Andor basketball branding printed on in navy. The shoes come with a set of flat white laces, a set of flat cream laces, and a set of flat navy laces. The tongue of the shoe is mostly made out of cream white nylon and at the top of the tongue you get a fabric tag with New Balance Amelie Andor branding and 650 branding embroidered on in navy. The ankle area of the shoe and the back of the tongue are lined in that cream white nylon. Similar to the 550 retros, these 650s also come with special ortholite comfort insoles with added cushioning and arch support. The branding on each insole also differs. The left shoe utilizes Amelie Andor's basketball branding and the right shoe utilizes New Balance's branding and they're both printed on in white. And the medial side of the shoe is made out of the same exact materials and colors as the lateral side of the shoe. The midsole of the shoe is made out of hard rubber and the mid part of the midsole is made to look so that it's aged and it's in this cream white color. And the midsole also has the New Balance NB logo and New Balance spell out uh, also in the hard rubber. And finally moving on towards the outsole of the shoe you get a non-marking outsole in navy and cream white rubbers. So now that the overview of the shoes out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet. As for sizing, before I bought this pair, uh, in other reviews of the 650R, most of the reviewers said that they fit like the 550, so I went with my 550 size with a size 9. I'm definitely glad I went with a size 9 because the 650 has the same problems as the 550 in that the middle of the shoe is wider and the ankle area of the shoe is also wider. I am a true size 9.5 and, and I bought these in a size 9 and they fit me well. I'd say if you have normal or narrow width feet, I recommend going down half a size, but if you have wide 
wider feet, I'd recommend sticking true to size. But as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on or another pair of 650s on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that since everyone's feet are different. Moving on to comfort and technology, the 650R doesn't really have much in terms of comfort technology other than that Ortholite insole. And for my 3 factor rating for the comfort of the 650, I give it a 2 out of 10 for cushioning, a 9 out of 10 for stability or firmness, and a 2 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. As you can probably tell from those scores, the 650R is not a comfortable shoe at all. Back in the 80s, it was a performance basketball shoe, but in 2022, at best, it's a lifestyle shoe, and when you're grabbing these, you're not expecting any comfort. The 650R has a very stiff and hard rubber outsole with very little cushioning to back it up. That Ortholite Comfort insole uh, barely adds any cushioning. That Ortholite Comfort insole does very little to counteract the very firm nature of the hard rubber outsole. And in terms of midsole shape, the 650's midsole is very flat and has very little support. And again, uh, it's just the Ortholite insole with that added arch support that if you're gonna get any support from the shoe, it'll be with that insole. And even then, that insole unfortunately does very little to counter the traditional hard rubber outsole. In terms of quality, this shoe was made in China, but I was impressed with the leather quality. The leather was very soft and smooth to the touch, so any Amelie Andor collab will probably have better quality than regular GR650Rs, which is to be expected. And yeah, overall, for what it is, I was content with the quality. And as for a craftsmanship perspective, I had absolutely no problems on my end whatsoever. Overall, I was really happy to finally get a pair of 650R retros in my hand. It's one of the few uh, high top New Balance retro basketball shoes that are actually available to buy right now. You guys know I have a few uh, actual OG New Balance high top basketball shoes, but those are very old. They're over four decades old and they haven't retroed yet. So I was really happy to see New Balance pull the 650R out of the vault. I will say I got to give a lot of credit to Teddy Santis and ALD for bringing the 550 and 650 out of the vault. But that's about as much credit as I can give them because in terms of this being a collab, I mean, this is just a GR with some small Amelie Andor branding and I guess you could say the age details are part of the collab but it, it really it's just a navy and white 650R. I'm sure New Balance is going to release a GR version of this exact shoe so uh, in terms of it, be, of it being an ALD collab it's not the best collab in the world. Hopefully ALD releases uh, more unique colorways for the 650R. Those colorways I'd definitely be excited about but uh, for this collab well really the whole pack it was mostly just to reintroduce the 650R to the modern world. So that's gonna do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content and I'll catch you guys in the next one.